the ab sequence is basically a, a core activation uh, sequence before we get working out, just a way to kind of get the core activated, strong, ready to brace for the strength training routine. So it's going to consist of the glute bridge, the plank, the side plank, and the bird doll. And so the uh, glute bridge is where you lay down on your back, you got your feet shoulder width apart, feet are relatively close to your butt, you don't want it too far out. What you're going to do is lay on your back, arms out to the side. You're going to squeeze your glutes together and bring your hips up off the ground and then come back down to the start. Now what we're looking for, this hip fold right here, when you come up to the top, we want this hip fold straight. And there's a difference between getting this hip fold straight and just pushing the belly button forward. So we definitely don't want this. We don't want the, the belly button being pushed forward. We want that hip fold being straight. Once you've got to this point, that's it. Anything past that, you can see I'm just pushing with the lower back and extending the belly button forward. So we're looking for that to be straight. Then you're going to come down at the bottom position. Don't relax. It's a light touch and then back up to the top and then back down. So what I suggest doing is coming up and down to a count of three. So it'll look like this. Up, two, three, down, two, three. Up, two, three, down two, three. So that's your glute bridge. You're going to do that for the prescribed number of reps. Next is the plank. So the plank, you're going to get on your elbows and your toes and basically achieve a planked position. And what you want to do is draw your belly button into your spine and squeeze your butt cheeks tight to make sure you've got your, your core nice and strong. And also you want to keep your shoulders packed in. You don't want to be sitting here like this with a rounded upper back and your shoulders protruded forward. You have to get that upper back nice and flat and your shoulders down away from your ears. So this is what we're looking for on our plank right here. So remember, your upper back is part of your torso. So if you've got strong abs and strong glute, but you're sitting there with your upper back round and your shoulders protruded forward, then that's not a strong torso. That's the weak link right there. So if you need to, if you have trouble with that, you may need to start from your knees and do it from here. So again, this will help you. Again, you're only as strong as your weakest link. You may be able to hold a plank for a long time with uh, you know keeping your abs tight and your glutes tight, but if you cannot keep that upper back in a good strong position, then that's your weak link and you need to regress the movement in order to allow you to uh, address that weak link and, and strengthen it. So um, that's the plank. Uh, you're going to hold that for the prescribed amount of time. And again, how you can regress it in case you can't keep every element strong that we're looking for. The next is the side plank. That's on your elbow. Feet stacked on top of each other. And you get your hips up off the ground. Again, glutes tight, abs drawn in nice and tight. We're holding this position. Again, if you have trouble with that position there, you can go to your knees, bend your knees to a 90 degree angle. Make sure that your hips are, are strong. You just don't want your knees pushed forward and trying to come up from this position here. Make sure that you've got those knees pushed back, your abs are tight, your glutes are tight. So this is how you can regress it if you have trouble with the full uh, side plank. So again, you're going to hold that for the prescribed amount of time on each side. And then last is the bird dog. And for the bird dog, you're going to get on all fours, hands and knees. You're going to draw your belly button into your spine, and then what you're going to do is you're going to stick one leg back, squeeze your glute, and the opposite arm out, and you're going to hold this position for the prescribed amount of time. So it's opposite. One leg back, opposite arm out. Try to have your thumb facing the ceiling, and you want to make sure you've got your glute tight on this leg back here. If you don't have your glute tight, then you're not protecting your lower back. So again, you're going to hold for the prescribed amount of time, come back to all fours, Reset your ab brace, stick one leg back and the other arm out, and you're gonna hold that. So if you have a lot of trouble with that, you just feel yourself extremely unbalanced with that, again, you can regress it by not sticking the arm out. Just work on sticking the leg back and holding this position here for the prescribed amount of time, and then working on being able to get the arm up and out as well. So uh, that's basically it. Those four exercises there make up your ab sequence.